Hello friends, uh, today video is about the cylinder set uh, 300cc from HL. So this is the low cost um, big bore upgrade for all the KLX250 owners. Or if you have something, some problem with your original um, 300, KLX300 cylinder or piston uh, you can also use this kit. I haven't seen many um, video reviews of this kit and I already run one on my motorcycle for more than a year and I did on it about mm, 7000 km with zero problem and now I have a spare kit which I want to show you and um, we will take a look at the quality and other other relevant uh, pieces. Also I have my standard 249 cylinder from KLX 250 and uh, standard piston from this cylinder so we will compare uh, this kit to original Kawasaki. Also I have a scale and I have a digital caliper so we can measure everything. So yeah let's get started. So the HL kit comes with the set of gaskets. Uh, some people actually change it to the Kawasaki, but I found quality is decent, so I used uh, this set of gaskets on my Kelix uh, 250 with no issue. And what what else inside the block? So there is a um, obviously. clip for the piston pin, the piston pin, uh, the piston itself, some plastic here, piston rings and the cylinder. So first things first, let's compare the cylinder. I'm not a trained mechanic. So I will just uh, do my best to compare these two things. So uh, early versions of this cylinder uh, reported that they have some minor um, differences uh, with the original Kawasaki cylinder. And in particular, people told that they grind four millimeter out of the uh, lower chain tensioner but for me um, I didn't do anything on my setup my was just bolt on one year ago and I don't see any uh, differences here actually and by the way we are reviewing the cylinder set with the marking 299 it's like some people think it's 299 uh, CC, but actually it is 292 as the standard Kawasaki, so it is the same uh, 78 millimeter piston, so let's just double check. Yeah, so it is, I'm not sure if you will be able to see, but it is exactly 78 millimeter piston. So 78 millimeter piston translates into uh, 292 cubic centimeters with the standard stroke of um, 61.2 millimeter. So, uh, as I as I mentioned, I I'm very happy with this cylinder set on my setup, and I got this new one and uh, all the things look very decent. There are some minor dents here. I don't know if you will be, will be able to see. There is like a really minor dent here. I'm sure this is just a cosmetic thing. It will not affect any functionality. The coolant uh, windows are very well machined. Uh, there is some like minor irregularity here. But it's, it's really minor. 
So I think you can easily uh, buy this uh, cylinder kit and you will not have any any issues with it. The quality again is really really good. Um, if you're curious, we can measure what is the weight of the original cylinder from Kawasaki and the from HL. Uh, there is not my, much sense, like why would you compare the weight, but <laughs> just to see the, how much material it has. So the HL is 1167.6 gram and the Kawasaki 100 1357 gram so it's around 200 gram difference yeah obviously the cylinder is a bit uh, weight should be smaller since there is less material from the inside uh, piston side and other than that yeah again they look pretty much identical I don't know even what to measure here. For me, they look absolutely identical. Now let's get to the piston. And I think one interesting part is to measure what will be the weight difference between the original 250cc piston and the uh, 300. So the original piston with the pin and the piston rings weight 235.5 gram and the 300 cc cylinder is the piston with the pin uh, pin fixator and the piston rings weight 272.7 gram so it's about 272. It's about like 40 gram difference, a bit less than 40 gram difference. 37 gram difference. So I think that's it about the uh, cylinder set. And I think it's a killer value if you want to upgrade your Helix 250. So in most of the countries with all the like delivery and taxes, you can get it under $200. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a killer it's a killer value for the uh, for the money. So I think this one is one of the first things you should do on your 250 um, after your free mods such as sub throttle valve, uh, the leader like someone call it secondary throttle. <coughs> Uh, on 250 it will not be like a drastic change compared to 300 as the ECU opens it more um, yeah but uh, my recommendation is that uh, if you're a skilled mechanic or you can do it yourself it's like under $200 this is the best upgrade for your Helix 250 alright thanks for watching and subscribe to Planet Helix um, I will try to post more useful information for all Kalex owners. See you, bye!